Right. Say, for example, I wanted to draw y y is equal to 2x plus, sorry, let's just do minus 1. Okay, so I want to draw y is equal to 2x minus 1. Okay, and I've got these two things which make the general form of an equation of a straight line, which we know to be y is equal to mx plus c. So, let's have a look at the c first. So the c, in this case, is minus 1. So I'm going to move the cursor to the to minus one, so this is going to. Be, so we're going to move this to minus one, like that. Okay, and we can see that here, this point here, where it cuts the y-axis, is actually we're at minus one. And we want the gradient to be two, so m is two. We want the gradient to be two. Okay, and now we can see that the gradient is two because if I count from here. To here, that's two squares, and I know this one here is one, so therefore the gradient will be equal to two. So what we're saying is, for every one square along, I need to go two up. And thus we have a gradient of two and a y-intercept of minus one. Say so now I wanted to draw a different one. I wanted to draw y is equal to, let's say, 3x plus 2. Okay, in order to do that, so 3x plus 2, in order to do that, okay, so the c would be 2, so let's just move that to there first. So the C's at 2, and then the M will be 3. Okay, so we can see now that this point here is 2, and that this distance here is 3 divided by 1. Right, saying so now I want to just do it, I want to do it without using the graphing software. So let's just put these back both these cursors back first of all at zero. So we'll get this line to disappear. And I want to do it just by drawing now. Okay, so let's give it take an example. So let's do y is equal to two x minus so y is equal to 3x, 2x minus 3. If I compare that with y is equal to mx plus c, so I can see in this example that c is 3, minus 3, okay, and the gradient is 2. So the first thing I would do if I wanted to draw it is I need to find minus 3 as the y-intercept, because this stands for the y-intercept. So this will be this point... This will be this point here, so I'll put a little dot there. Okay, There's a big dot now, okay. All right, and then the gradient of 2 means for every one square I go along, I need to go up 2. So the next point would be here. That would carry on. That pattern would carry on. Okay, and then I can see that these points are in a straight line. And so what I need to do next is draw a straight line through them. Right across the axis. Like that. 
okay, and therefore this line here represents the line which is called 2x minus 3. So just to summarize, the 2 here stands for the gradient, and the minus 3 stands for where it cuts the y-axis, okay? And you could use this applet to check any other, this you will find, this applet you will find on Firefly by your class page.